YouTube, I kind of wanted to do a video talking to you about something that's non-beauty. It's um, some things that I've been going through lately and that I've been frustrated with lately. Um, a lot of you might not want to hear this, and that's fine with me. You can click off the video, but I wanted to talk to you about um, a disease called fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is a disease that um, the, one of the main characteristics of is widespread pain. Um, you have pain absolutely everywhere. Like with my pain, I have um, headaches almost every day. I have pain in my hands and stiffness in my hands so much so that a lot of times I can't make a fist. Uh, my knees hurt and that's on top of the arthritis that I have, but my knees hurt. My hips hurt, my lower back hurts, my shoulders hurt, my ankles hurt, the soles of my feet even hurt. Um, it is really miserable and a lot of days I'm kind of down because I'm so tired of being in pain. Um, I've only been diagnosed for about maybe six months. But before that, I kept going back and forth to the doctor with different aches and pains. And I was told things like, well, you're getting older or um, you may want to lose some weight or you may exercise. But what they don't seem to understand is that exercise makes my pain worse. And it also flares up another one of my um, fibromyalgia symptoms, which is fatigue. Um, I get... Uh, really 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 bad fatigue sometimes after I do like I'll be feeling good one day and then I decide that I'm going to run around and I'm going to try to get all these things done that I couldn't get done before and by the time I get home and start to rest I do what I basically call crashing and that is what um is termed post-exertional malaise where you feel like you've been hit by a truck or you had the flu and for me it's like I cannot move for a couple of days I can get up and you know go to the bathroom or anything like that but other than that it's like bed bathroom and back and a lot of pain medicine which 99% of the time for me pain medicine isn't going to work my collar looks crazy Pain medicine does not really work for me. Um, before I even got to the diagnosis of um, fibromyalgia, my doctor told me that I had endometriosis, which is a coexisting condition in women who have fibromyalgia, meaning that a lot of women who have fibromyalgia also have endometriosis. So if that's another painful disorder where the lining of your uterus grows outside of your uterus. It can grow in your intestines, it can grow in your bladder, it can grow in your lungs, it can even grow, travel as far as your brain. So I was dealing with that pain on top of trying to figure out why in the world everything hurt and why do I feel like I'm 99 years old? I'm not old, why I can't, why can't I move and get around like other people my age. Um, my frustration comes in where, you know, it's like people don't want to help you because you say the word fibromyalgia. Like my primary doctor gave me a referral to go and see a rheumatologist. Well, in my area, I'm trying to call a rheumatologist for an appointment. And one of them even had the gall to tell me that we don't treat people with fibromyalgia. You have to have some other disease that caused you pain for me even to make you an appointment. I don't know what kind of foolishness that is, but I felt like that was discrimination, but that was beside the point. I still needed somebody to see me. So um, like yesterday, I went in to see a pain management specialist and I feel like I wasted a co-payment because all he really focused on was the fact that my knees and my lower back hurt and it was like, to me, he wasn't addressing the other pains that I was having. It's like, okay, we need you to get an x-ray or maybe an MRI of your knees and your lower back. Okay, but what do we do about the rest of it? All they really do is give you medication. So like prednisone, Percocet, 
tramadol i mean they'll give you that but it's like nobody i feel like a lot of times nobody cares about what my overall issue is because with the fibromyalgia it's not just that i'm having pain it's that i'm having cognitive issues meaning my memory sucks a lot of the time i mean i can do my job very well because i've been doing it for so many years that it's like automatic pilot but like people's names that i see all the time i can't remember or I go to like look up something on the internet and something else takes my attention away from it. And then I totally forget what the heck it was that I was trying to look for on the internet. And it takes me forever to recall that information. The fatigue is absolutely crippling sometimes. Um, I feel like a bump on a log. I feel useless a lot of times because all I can do is rest. And that's kind of annoying. Um, I'm waiting. I just got my referral in the mail, so I'll be trying to find a rheumatologist, but all I want is relief. And all of any of us with fibromyalgia want is not to be in pain, not to feel like we can't contribute, not to feel like nobody wants to help us or nobody can help us, or we don't want people to see us as drug seekers, which a lot of people will call you a drug seeker but it's not that we're seeking drugs is that we need relief for pain so i'm cool if you can give me some other method to control my pain i'm totally cool physical therapy massage therapy any of that but don't automatically label me as a drug seeker because i'm telling you that i'm in so much pain and i need something i mean that's just a biological need pain needs to be relieved so, yeah, that's one of my other frustrations, too, is that a lot of us are, like, dinged because we need pain relief, and we ask for it. Um, another one of my frustrations is that people don't, a lot of people, or maybe some people, don't believe that fibromyalgia is a real disorder when it actually is. It's like if you could be inside my body, you would understand, you would want people to know that this is real, this is actually happened. My muscles burn when I try to pick up something. My fingers cramp up, I can't remember. I'm so exhausted. All of that stuff all together, if you had to deal with that on a regular basis, I think you would probably crumble. I think we with fibromyalgia are the strongest people in the world because we put up with this every single day. And we don't have any other choice but to be strong. So, I really take offense at people telling me, oh, you all are just being lazy. You're making this up because you don't want to work and you want to be on disability. The last flipping thing I want to do is be on disability. It's not going to pay me enough money to survive. I would rather work full time than to sit at home and get a check that's not going to take care of my needs. I mean, who will want that? That's absolutely ridiculous. Who will want that on top of feeling like crap every day? But anyway, that is a day in the life, basically. It's like you're battling every day to act as normal as you can when you know you feel like you got hit by an 18-wheeler. I just, I don't know. I, I a lot of times think about more about what other people think of me versus, look at that mess in the background. Ignore that. That's my blanket and my heating pad. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, look. Blanket, heating pad, another heating pad, a cute little doll. Heat. I'm sorry for chewing gum, y'all. I'm sorry. Another heating pad. And this is that same little doll. I just put him inside of a pillow cover so it wouldn't be so hot on my skin. And I also have an electrical stem machine that I put on. And it just, um, like you put these pads on to where it hurts. And it, pro I'm sorry, I need to look at the camera. It provides some um, electrical pulses to the area that hurts and supposedly relieves the pain. But sometimes that doesn't even work, but I have it. Um, a lot of medication. Uh, a lot of rest. It, it It's not happiness and joy it's trying to deal with the foolishness that i have to go through every day and worry about what other crazy people think about me i really at this point am done with that i don't care what you think i know that i'm actually going through something and i know i hurt every day um that's basically all i wanted to say 
if you have any questions, you can leave them for me in the comment section. I will answer them for you. But today is a halfway decent day. My muscles are burning. And again, I'm using my iPhone. So my, my left arm is on the fire. But I'm going to put this camera down. Thank you all for watching this video. Again, if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, have a good day. Bye-bye.